So, gang, will Elon Musk be able to turn the tide of a string of negative headlines and convince investors they are moving full steam ahead? What do you think? He's got a lot on his plate right now, because don't yeah. forget, he's still involved with the SEC drama as well over his right. previous tweets. But I think that from that report, what we know is that Elon Musk is officially committed to within the next year or next year, we should say, that they're going to have full on demand taxi robots that are going to be able to come. That's that's soon. I didn't think that would happen that soon. I don't know how, how we can follow through with that. But I think several issues you had, like he mentioned, a few analysts really downgrading the stock. How can you do all this? You got a lot on your plate. Uh, you need to be stay cash flow positive. And there's still un unanswered questions about deliveries, about uh, demand. And there's concerns that demand may be dropping. And if you have this issue, which has not been uh, verified yet in China. So I want to specify that, that it hasn't been verified. But that's a huge market, 20% of the revenue. So if you have one car blowing up and bursting into flames, that could it really good. damage the brand. I, I think the problem is uh, Elon Musk is known to sort of trot out these really mind-boggling events and accomplishments just as they're about to report a truly horrible <laughs> quarter. So in fact, the reason the stock and, and some of the analysts may be somewhat negative right now is maybe they are reading it that way because from a lot of different perspectives, the actual probability of them having a fully autonomous driving car seems extremely low. Number one, their technology, they don't have around the corner uh, radar installed on these vehicles. It doesn't seem likely that just a software patch is going to really make the difference. So there's a lot of skepticism about whether this can actually be accomplished. And because of that, they're reading this as being, oh my gosh, something terrible is about to be announced. And this is Elon Musk's way of capturing everyone's imagination. And the stock looks a little sick, doesn't it? And yeah. to me, as an uh, investor, as I'm not an investor in, in Tesla, thankfully, I, I think almost they're changing the story here. The reason to invest in Tesla used to be its, it's joie, de vie, joie de vivre was that it was an electric car, right? It, it was the only pure play for, for years and years and years. One of every other major car manufacturer is getting on board. And there was a fascinating story on Zero Hedge today. Turns out, in fact, that Teslas and, in fact, e-cars cause more carbon, emit more carbon than even diesel cars. So the whole justification those social, you know, social justice warriors had for buying Teslas, it was so environmentally friendly, turns out it's not the thing. So maybe the autonomous driving, I mean, God knows I'm not going to get in one of those cars without uh, keeping no. my hand. Maybe this is going <laughs> to save the company after all, Gary. What do you think? I'm never getting one of those things. So, <laughs> look, the, the only thing consistent about Elon Musk is his inconsistency. Uh, Wall Street does not trust him because over the last couple of years, time and time again, he would uh, guide with numbers and miss with those numbers and sometimes miss badly. And then you know what happened with the SEC and then he decides to smoke some weed on video. I must tell you, any other CEO on Wall Street would have been out on his ear for the way he's been acting and, and the, some of the things out of his mouth. And uh, again, we have some SEC issues and I just don't believe the numbers that are coming out. And more importantly, the market doesn't believe it. It's one of the worst acting stocks versus the market in 2019 yeah, bottom, and did not do so well in 2018 Bottom line is either. that the, the shares are now down 20%. That's correction territory for the year, 20% down. But again, there are still a lot of true believers I think I think Liz, though, makes the, the key point. Whenever they have a big problem, that's when a distraction comes in. Who knows whether that smoking the joint was just a distraction to distract from the bad <laughs> basic news that they weren't producing the number of cars that they were supposed to have. I think Liz actually also brought up, too, that the regulations, that's what we're missing, too. We don't know. If you, you yeah. are in a driverless car and the car crashes and hits yeah. in me and, and my bicycle, who's responsible? So and, I think there's a lot of unanswered questions, which is why when you're committing to having this within the next year out on the road, obviously we don't know if it'll go through, but the, that's a huge commitment. It's a huge commitment. I, I think the only thing we should always remember, though, is that the Tesla is a gorgeous car. He oh, actually and it has rides produced. Really nicely. No, I mean, this is, this is not inconsequential. He has produced an amazing car. Car that a lot of people want to own, there's which another, is why he has this cold. There's another point you, you have to remember, which is that whenever there is a major transformation in technology, Jonathan, you've talked about this, there's always questions about, is it going to be safe? Who's liable? If, I mean, think of when the, we went from the horse to the horseless carriage. I mean, the same kind of questions were asked. <laughs> we I mean, weren't there see, yet. You see, a fire, <laughs> you see a fire in China, 
and you think of you forget about the fact that there are hundreds of fires in in regular cars all the time. By the way, aren't you skeptical because it's China? I mean, you know, <laughs> and it's, so I just say say this. And, and, you cannot you cannot as a company come out and say we're going to have a million of these cars and then all of a sudden it's only two hundred thousand. That's true. That is the true. bottom yeah. line, and yeah. and it just continues to okay. happen. And look, I agree, the guy's a genius, but he's got to get his act together. So he's just over promising. That's what you're saying. He just needs to oh, yeah. tame it down just a little bit. He's got a good pro a product and. Than a little we just, over he needs to just, you know, calm down a little bit. Right. Maybe not calm, calm down. down. No, 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 no